Hello, Juno community. Welcome to another Juno news update where we bring you everything that's happening in the Juno ecosystem. And this week we have the Evo roadmap. Everything that's coming in the year 2023 has been published by the Core One team. So we want to look at that. And then we have some governance update and we have some project updates. As usual, a lot is happening in the Juno network. Let's get straight into this week's news. Starting with the Juno Evo, the roadmap for 2023, um, there will be three different points that we are looking at. Um, we have mesh security, we have governance adma- advancement, and we have technical advancement. So mesh security will be a big focus. Um, it's a project or a product co-developed with Osmosis. And the goal is that different chains can secure each other. And this will increase security and also unlock new revenues for stakers as Juno stakers will be able to earn tokens from each chain that will secure via mesh security together with Juno. Then in the governance advancement, um, Juno will be using DAODAO for the Juno governance, and this will open up new possibilities and make governance more flexible. Um, We will have things like the gauge-based funding, uh, something similar to what you know from the Windex. Um, We'll have new payment options. We have multiple choice voting, so it's not just yes, no, abstain, or no with veto. There will be different options that can be put into it. And um, there will be obviously a better user interface and a better user experience. If you have used DAODAO, you know um, how amazing, how easy, how well governance is um, with that tool. So very exciting to see that Tuno will work closer together with the flagship product that's launching on Tuno and integrating all the cool features that the DAODAO team has been developing. And then in terms of the technical advancement, the goal will be to make Juno more powerful and faster. The focus is on improving its speed, um, the transaction per second. Then uh, we also want to get simpler smart contract development. So making it easier for the builders to launch on Juno to build the applications with Cosm Wasm. There will be tools to migrate projects um, to become mesh security chains to really focus on that vision of Juno being the incubator chain for the interchain. So you can launch on Juno, build your project, and once it's successful enough, once you can handle your own chain, you can become an own chain and via mesh security still be closely connected to Juno and get your chain secured by Juno validators as well. And then we want to get Bitcoin security via the Babylon chain that's launching. So very cool project also to increase the security of the Juno network. So we will get a faster and more secure chain where it's easier to develop. And then lastly, as a minor point, there will be a legal and a business development sub DAO, which are points that are still kind of missing in a Juno network. So there will be sub DAO created to take care of this. Then moving on to governance, we have the wind external incentives proposal that passed. So that means if you provide liquidity on the wind Juno pool, on the wind decks, you will now not only earn wind tokens, but also Juno tokens. 90,000 Juno tokens has been allocated, allocated to that and will be released over the course of three months. Then in uh, the Commonwealth Forum, we have hot and cold asking for basically exactly the same. They're also asking for 90,000 Juno um, to be distributed to the hot Juno pool. So hot is their own token. And that would be distributed in this case over the course of an entire year. Then moving on to other things that are happening in the Juno network. First off, we have TFM. They announced that they are building an NFT aggregator for the Juno NFTs. So you will have advanced data and analytics for NFTs on Juno. Then Jake Hartnell is going to do coding streams on Discord. So if you're interested in Cosm Wasm, this is a great opportunity to learn from one of the greatest devs in the ecosystem. So stay tuned to that and make sure to follow Jake Hartnell to to learn more about when that happens. And then lastly, um, we want to invite you to the next Juno community call that's happening on Tuesday at 8 p.m. UTC. Um, This is the place where the core one teams, the core developers, um, and as well projects, they share their alpha first. So, and you also get a chance to discuss all those issues, what's happening in the Juno network with the core team. So um, definitely make sure to not miss out on that. 
join us next Tuesday at 8 p.m. for the community call. And that's it for uh, this week's news update. Thank you so, so much for tuning in and see you again for the next one. Peace out.